next to him, Jacob Kiplimo. He's a world champion, world record holder for the half marathon. He was second in our horse. He did the double at the Com Games, the five and the ten. We're trying to get up into that gold medal position this year. And we're off and racing the final event here, the World Cross Country Championships. And it is an absolute terror up the hill. It's actually going to be a headwind going up through the tyres. It is. So that will add just an extra complexity to the lap. So leading that field, we just saw him coming through. That's the Kenyan. Kibblewatt Candy, he was third at the trials. He's the national record holder over the half marathon. He's in Valencia. He used to have the world record until Kip Lemo, who's a couple of strides behind him, took it off him. Yeah, so, road racing, pretty good form line, but um, I think the track form often translates to cross country slightly better than you, than the half and full marathon. But um, yeah, they're, certainly the, the Ugandans, again, very aggressive, which is good to see. You know, I want to, we, we want to get this race, you know, really clicking along early. Here we go into the vines, the winery section, and all choosing that first lane. Yeah. And that single file, well, basically single file. If you need to pass there, you can pass one, but certainly all choosing that faster, shorter route. Now I think once this race is all like this, unless there's a sp unless someone wants to kick there and not let anyone know that they're kicking, that's the only time you're going to use the other aisle, I think, today. I think so. Yeah. Sneak around, yeah. get away. But, Make um, a big move up the vineyards. It's interesting because coming out of that winery is the significant hill. So I think it's difficult to really make a move there. It looks, every, from history would show us today, that they're really wading to this fast section of the course before they make a move. And it um, looks like it's tough out. As we see, look at that wind really gusting through the course there. it is unreal and that's the highest point of the course so it should be the windiest section it's kind of where the storm is coming through this is a little bit protected but when they come out of this chute here straight downhill they'll get a big tailwind but uh Kipratic leading that way it's roger cabet on the outside he was fourth at the trials it was fifth place the World Under-20 champs last year in both the 3,000 and the 5,000. Fantastic cross-country runner. <laughs> it just is that chapter guy that go from the right-hand side, of the left-hand side of the course to the right-hand side of the course almost directly. So he knows where he wants to be leading into the billabong. I was going to say, I think they've probably got their favourite line at the moment now by the time they get here. So that's chapter guy just on the outside. Toulmey getting back out to the front again the 2022 African champ over the 10,000 metres. And we see Chapter Guy talking about winners getting to the front. It was 20th only a lap ago. <laughs> yep. And he's like, oh, we've just got to get, we've got to get this done. So Chapter Guy leads through the vineyards. Then it's Cam Raw. So that's first and third for the last championships. Candy just behind them as well. So Chapter Guy and Kip Lemo, the Ugandans. Maybe a Benio might be just dropping off the back as Aragawi on the left-hand side of Cam Raw. So this is going to be a fantastic race here to see who can take the medals. Who's going to take this turn the easiest? Chapter guy moves out wide. Aragawi snuck up the inside. He's found himself in second place, fourth to second. Perfect. This is like Bathurst 1000. It is. it is, yep. Late breaking in that yeah. corner and he got out quickly. Took the inside driving line and he got through. So we're down, we're definitely down to four. In our horse behind his teammate, Chapter Guy, can he turn the tables? Aragawi might have just got in front of Cam Raw, the winner in 2015 and 2017. The Kip Lemo looks good. He looks great. He looks fantastic. He salutes the crowd, raises the arms out. He's going to soak up this finishing straight. Aragawi comes around, he points to his fans. Jacob Kip Lemo. He's going to be the king of the mountain in Mount Panorama, and he's going to take out the title. Aragawi's going to take second, but Jacob Kiblimo does it. 29-16. Aragawi's going to finish in second. A fantastic effort from the Ethiopian. And it's going to be Joshua Chapter Guy, the reigning champ. He'll finish back onto the podium. Jacob, congratulations, world champion. That must sound nice. Oh, okay. thank you. Thank take, you. Sir. Take us through your thoughts on the race. 
I think first of all I want to say thank you. Thanks to Efara one that they have for us. I think to me it was actually the course was uh, was really tough, but how much I've won the rest. Second last time, first this time. What is the what was the difference for you between now? What was the difference to between when you came second and now when you win? I think first of all I was uh, I was up at 2019 when I won a silver medal because that time I was still a junior. But how much for that that I did today? I'm really happy. What does this win mean for you? I think now it means a lot because now it is my 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 target since 2019 that I want to win a gold medal for the senior man. I'm up now because I've win, I've achieved the mission. Yep. That's the smile of a champion. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you so much.